war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. The Sino-American War was a war involving the People's Republic of China and the United States as the two superpowers clashed in a struggle to control the last remaining resources on Earth. The two key participants and their client states and annexed nations engaged in total war against each other as both civilian and military resources were harnessed to achieve victory over the other side in a struggle that was as much about resources as it was about ideology. The war was marked by atrocities on both sides, both against foreign and domestic populations, steady escalation of hostilities up to and including the use of biological, chemical, and small limited nuclear weapons. The end result was a gradual transition of both states into totalitarian dictatorships no different from each other. Resource shortages made this a war of position rather than of maneuver. Trench warfare was common, particularly in Alaska, and until new models of power armor were introduced into the fray by United States forces, stalemates were extremely common. I enlisted with the goal of just one tour, but ended up serving much more than that. I spent six years in the Army, Fox Company, 108th Infantry Regiment. By the time my first tour was up, the government had mandated three military tours of two years each for all enlisted and conscripted men in all military services. When I had enlisted, it was before we realized what kind of war this was. All three tours were spent in Alaska, and those were some of the worst years of my life. I'm very fortunate that the United States of America didn't require every soldier to serve until they couldn't. While away at war, things at home had gotten really bad. This was no longer the land of the free. Annexing Canada, all of our rights taken away, starvation, the military occupying major U.S. cities as if it was in a hostile country, 
and don't forget the new plague hitting parts of the nation since 2053, and growing up under the quarantine. With energy shortages, the economy collapsing, the worst war in history now in its 11th year, when will it end? It can only get worse. And what do I, Ryan Moore, see as my life in the future? I'm having a tough time doing that. So I've been living for the moment, not thinking too far ahead, and most certainly doing my best not to look behind me. The world is too dark of a place, and we are too powerless to do anything about it. Things in our great country are falling apart, and my wife Nora and I have settled in a different state to get away from everything. We originally met in Alaska, and after a few months we knew that we wanted to get married. Everything was so hectic back then, and we were each other's rock. Together, we were like the calm in a raging storm around us. A lot of people met and married quickly. Just to have someone to look forward to, to return to after. The casualties were something not seen since the Second World War, and yet this war dragged on and on, with no end in sight. Nora just got her law degree before she was conscripted, and now that I've been out of the army since the middle of last year, we've been happy to remain at home for the time being just to focus on us. With our savings and a recent inheritance, we were able to just take the last year without worry and do our best to forget the horrors of what we went through in Alaska. Our house is new and we live in a residential area called Sanctuary Hills. They call it the House of Tomorrow. Apparently, they are building millions of these small but futuristic homes all across America for those returning from the war. After moving in, one of the first things we did was get a new car, a station wagon for our new family we're about to start. First came the dog, who actually ran away a few weeks back, but then Nora and I had a baby boy that we named Sean, and I've never had so much love in my life. I love my wife very deeply, and I love my son so very much. I know I have to return to the civilian workforce, I just don't know what it will be yet. With the state of the country and how things can only get worse if the war doesn't end, then I'm really having a difficult time imagining myself doing anything other than what I was doing during the war. I think the closest thing to that in civilian life would be as a police officer. As for my wife Nora, she really wants to put that law degree to use and start her own practice, and I'm really proud of her for all of that. It's more than I've ever been able to do at home since I left my education as an engineer midway to enlist in the army. Now I see that as a mistake, but who knows, with the way things have been going, I more than likely would have been drafted anyway. Tonight I revisit some of those memories of my time in Alaska when I give my speech at the Veterans Hall. I'm quite nervous, and I have to edit my speech still, but I think I can do this. I don't want to dwell on the war, but as a veteran, I'd like to speak to my fellows about it, to denounce what we went through and what we're going through today. Though I have to be careful not to be labeled as a communist for it. They do tend to look at the younger crowd, meaning those under 40, more suspiciously, and I'm about to hit 30 this December. However, the average person stopped caring about that years ago. The government uses this subversive communist excuse to weed out any opposition to what they're doing, and by now most people see that. Still, there are snitches who really believe in that stuff, which makes no sense because America has become just as bad as communist China. Some people just need to wake up. How most people really live these days, though, is of one of two extremes. Living for the now, or planning to live in one of those damn vault vaults. You know, the ones that they advertise on the radio, TV, and on so many billboards. If it wasn't for the corruption that the company was caught up in, I just might support the idea. There are hundreds of them all across the USA now. In fact, they just built one about a block away from our house. Though I've been ignoring it, Nora has been pushing to get our family signed up. Maybe I should get our names on the list. But just think of it. Life behind one of those huge metal doors for the rest of your life. They say that living inside a vault is just as good as we have it all outside. That's not saying much these days. But as I said, it can only get worse. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right.
Codsworth. Look How's at her. It going? I'll just be a minute. Okay. She's so beautiful. Codsworth as busy as can be. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Ah, broken again. Good old USA. <laughs> Sean. I don't want him to know I'm here. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. <laughs> The glove's a little big now, but Sean will grow into it. Should get this signed next time we're at the park. <laughs> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Quite precise. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Cosworth. Hey. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Uh, never gonna find that dog. Hey, hon. Oh, we should like take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? I Maybe. <laughs> mm. You know, I was nervous at More first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. You think? Get more sugar bombs, a Nuka Cola, bread, cranberry juice. Uh, HVAC, not working right again. Call repairman. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Ha, <laughs> just the way I like it. Hmm. I'm so proud of her. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. <sighs> Good morning! vault -Tec calling. Yeah, I figured you guys would be around sometime. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Hmm. Yeah, I know exactly what the vaults are. Just gonna give them a bit of a hard time. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. Whoa, 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 language. If you'll excuse my language. The big kaboom <laughs> is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. Hmm. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. 
won't take but a moment. I guess we have to leave Codsworth behind. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. <laughs> now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Huh? Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. I hope you're right. He absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Hey, Sean. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Oh, no. Codsworth? What's wrong? That doesn't sound good. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of hey. explosions. Sir, the news. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. Uh, oh, we no. do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and My God. Pennsylvania. My God. No. Oh my god. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Nora, if come on. You are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Go, go, go. I'm right behind you. Leave it, you fools. Go, Nora. Head to the gate. All participants, check in there. That's absurd. I am Not on the list. Deck. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Come on, just pull it together. I'm this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Here. Thank you. Not sure. Good you luck. Two, follow me. Come on. Pull yourself together. What's going to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Keep going, Nora. Hunt. We're almost there. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Oh. Go, go. Go, go. Hold on! Move this damn thing! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh god! That has to have been a healthy dose of radiation. We did it. We made it. 
We're okay. Everyone, Everything please okay? step off the elevator and okay, proceed right? up the stairs in an orderly fashion. I don't know yet. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, Mr. Stairs. and Mrs. Abel were able to make it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we'd all don't be. get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs... Mrs. Whitfield, I know her. The door there. Just this way, please. What? what? What's going on? You're safe now. That's all that matters. Please, head up the stairs. Excuse me. Got a lot to do to get you oriented. Absolutely. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. Pick up a suit. Welcome oh, Head down man. the hall. Can't stop shaking. Levels are good. Hey. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Really? So you say. Female Take the vault suit and head down the hall. Oh my God, everything, everything's gone outside. I, I can't tell. I can't. Good. I can't talk to Nora about that. Not right now. One Those bastards suit. finally did it. Down the hall. Over there. Excuse Take me. Suit. We've been waiting for Take one of Whatever. Looks Your brand new vault suits. What's the problem? Hey there. There's some problem with our luggage. They're, they're telling us to wait. Okay. With your luggage? We didn't come with anything but ourselves. It's down Thanks. the hallway right there. <sighs> what now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? <sighs> I know this is a difficult time. How long do you think we'll be Bob down Tech here? Be with you every oh, we'll be going Sir? over all Hi. that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The vault suit. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Really? Prepared for the future, right? Well, those vault suits are really form-fitting. Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Thank you. Oh well. Excuse me. Yes, we're some Nora has a nice figure. Right? Whew. Give me something Absolutely. to look at. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Okay. Oh, it's form-fitting, all right. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time Decon for a whole new life. Decontamination. Resident secure. It's okay, Nora. Occupant vitals. Everything's gonna be okay. Normal. Procedure complete. In. What? Five. Wait, this. Four. Cryogenic state. The, we were frozen. What the, this is the one. Who's yeah. that? Vault. That. Oh, that doesn't look like Vault Tech. Nora. Sean. <laughs> What's with the gun? Everything's gonna be fine. Look 
the gun on his side. What the what the hell are you doing? Nora! No! What the You fucking monster! Nora! Sean! Sweet. Come on, come on! Oh, God! Nora! She's dead. My wife's dead. That's not a fucking thing I can do about it. Who were those people? Where's the vault tech staff? Shot her right in the goddamn head. Oh, God. Why would Voltaire do this? Any of these people okay? Cryogenic array. God, I feel like I've just come back from the dead. Oh, it's so cold. What did that say? Offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Somebody opened this up... Uh, remotely? Why is mine the only one that opened up? Life support offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides. That's the same thing. Pod occupant status. Unknown for Nora and Sean. Pod door manual. Override engaged. What's it say about me? Unknown. Remote override engaged. Somebody did this remotely. Why me? Mrs. Callahan. Deceased. Cause of death asphyxiation due to life support failure. Same thing, Mr. Callahan. Mr. Mr. Abel. Same thing. Mrs. Abel. Same goddamn thing, Mr. Russell. Everybody's dead. Nora. Why isn't there anybody here? Why was I remotely activated? Like the pod I was in. Why was it remotely activated? More pods. Oh, God. Why would Voltaire do this? Another jumpsuit. I 
guess I'll take it. I'm bloody freezing. Is everybody dead here too? I don't know these people. I assume they... They're all dead too. I assume they lived in... Sanctuary Hills too. It's just really cold. I... Where's the staff? <laughs> this doesn't look like I just... This... This isn't... Look at... It's like this place just aged. The rust on everything. Maybe I was under for years. This place was brand new when we first walked through it. This, the stains, this was... How long have I been in cryosleep? Wow, like that rust? That takes decades to accumulate. Oh, well, maybe not with a leaky pipe, but it would take years at least anyways. What the... What in the hell is that? Oh! The giant cockroach? There's more of them in there. Yes. <gasps> At least I can defend myself. I hope to God that's not all that's left in the world. <sighs> Stimpak. I always use one of those. A security terminal. Maybe now I'll get some answers. 